Hello, I'm one of the partners at uh, Ridley and Hall and I manage the family team in Huddersfield. I just wanted to talk to you today about the procedure involved in financial dispute within divorce. Um, as I know that a lot of people struggle with the process and the length of time that these proceedings take. So very quickly, if you decide that you want to issue an application, the first thing you have to do is provide the court with a form A. That's now sent off to a central portal and then that's passed to the local court where the hearing will be heard. Then what will happen in a few weeks, depending upon the busyness of the court, is that an order will be provided which will give details of when the first hearing is. That hearing is about three months from the date that the application is issued. Six weeks after that, you have to file a Form E, um, which can be found on the government website or can be provided by your solicitor. You have to provide a lot of documents, so I always advise clients to get the information together before we issue proceedings. Then you have to exchange those with the other person, the, the person with whom you're in dispute or their solicitors. Then we have another couple of weeks to um, ask questions. So we provide a questionnaire, a chronology and what's called a concise statement of issues, which basically sets out what the dispute of the case is about. There are some new forms now called an ES1 and an ES2. The ES1 is a case summary and the ES2 is a schedule of assets and liabilities, which the court find helpful. You then go off to the first appointment. Generally, the first appointment is a housekeeping exercise. So what happens at that hearing is that the court will give an indication or the judge will give an indication as to what areas we need. Do we need valuations of property? Do we need actuaries reports? Do we need reports from experts to value businesses? Those sorts of issues. So very much a housekeeping exercise. If, however, we've got all the information that we need together, um, then the court can treat that hearing as what's called an FDR, that's a financial dispute resolution hearing. Um, I'll come on to that in a moment. So if it's a first appointment, the judge will give directions and they will say that within certain time you have to do various things. Then the court can list the case for a financial dispute resolution appointment. So the financial dispute resolution appointment is really um, set by the courts to try and settle the case and um, to avoid it going to a final hearing. So the judge will give an indication about what is best um, and what they think they would do at a final hearing. The court asks you to attend court early so you can try and have pre-court discussions and then the judge gives an indication as to what they would do if they were deciding the case after hearing submissions from solicitors. If an agreement can be reached, the case would be adjourned to enable a consent order to be prepared. If an agreement can't be reached, the case will be listed for a final hearing. And that's when the court sets time uh, to be able to hear evidence from both parties and anybody else that they need to. Um, so that's the procedure for divorce. Thank you.